So the 1080 is due out in just about 11 days, I think, on the 27th. I'm not 100% sure because I, I kind of want one. I could probably get one if I sold my old graphics card and ponied up the rest of the money. But I'd rather wait till the 1080 Ti comes out because I have a feeling that this is just me. You know, and I'm not exactly a master of the tech world or that tech savvy. You know, I'm still learning how to wash myself properly. I have problems. I'm not that bright. But in all seriousness, I'll wait for the 1080 Ti simply because I'm pretty sure they're going to do the whole 382 bit bus versus the 1080 that's currently at 256. And who knows, maybe they'll get like HBM2. I don't know, probably not. But I'll stick to the 1080 completely unlocked when they drop the TI, which will be the cheaper alternative to the Titan Platinum Edition or whatever the fuck they're going to call it. But specs have leaked for the 1080. While all the big YouTubers who are capable of getting a 1080 for a review sample, which I was not, I probably shouldn't be this bitter sounding because it isn't as if Nvidia has said a sheer no but they're not exactly rubbing my balls with a feather. And I've been a loyal consumer for the past three or four years. I deserve better treatment. I'm a star. But unlike the major journalists or YouTube personalities that got a free review sample 1080, I'm pretty sure those will be cherry picked just like this uh, benchmark here for Fire Strike. But you know, who knows, maybe the card is that good. Honestly, the, I remember the 980 Ti when it came out, they were saying you could clock the motherfucker at 1500 megahertz. And whenever I got to 1500, my car just dropped dead. Like the games always crash as soon as I hit 1500. They call it the Silicon Luck Draw or some crap. And whenever a reviewer had like a really great graphics card, they were always able to achieve overclocks most of the people in the consumers market couldn't so i'm gonna treat this like a grain of salt they say it can do it but i'll believe it when i see benchmarks on the internet from normal guys not linus tech tips not hardware canucks not all the people who are respected and admired and have pull because of course they're gonna make sure these guys get the very best the pick of the litter cards to make this car look amazing while consumers may end up with cars that have issues 980 Ti's did have a couple issues. There are a lot of 980 Ti's that had to be sent back because they were just boned. You know, you couldn't get a good overclock in a thing or couldn't even handle its own boost clock. So the 980 Ti was not as great as it was meant to be or as told to be by the big shots. But hey, hey, if Nvidia wants to take me under their wing, I'm a reasonable man who can be negotiated with Unlike terrorists like Ziltex, he's a Muslim and he loves explosives. The irony. Okay, enough dicking around. Let's do this for real. Okay, so basically the GeForce NVIDIA GTX 1080 at 2114 megahertz. 2.1 gigahertz if you want to put it that way. Let's see. This time... We only have fire strike scores. According to the leaker, the GTX 1080 was running at four, I mean, 2114 megahertz, which is roughly 381 megahertz more than the stock 1733 megahertz boost clock. This is the first time the new Pascal GP104 base graphics card shows its true potential. We are observing a substantial boost in performance. The GTX 1080 has a 152, 161 to 161 percent over the Titan X stock performance and Fire Strike performance extreme utility, respectively. I probably read that far too quickly. But looking at the overclock right here at 2.1 gigahertz or 2114 megahertz, whatever the fuck you want to say. Sorry, I curse a lot. I'm from New York. Uh, from what I'm seeing here. It is around a 22% gain over a stock 980 Ti. But when you overclock it, it is a 46% gain over 980 Ti. In Fire Strike, in every benchmark, in the performance, in the extreme, and in the ultra. It's pretty impressive. It's very impressive, actually. I, I, I don't know. like. At any point, 
Yeah, I just don't know. Like, if this is true of all 1080s, you know, I want to see, like, a normal 1080 that some guy is just putting up, you know, and showing us what uh, Far Cry, not Far Cry, um, shit, Crisis 3, you know, <laughs> I want to see Crisis 3 on this, on a normal one, I don't want to see Crisis 3 or Arma 3 or Tomb Raider from Hardware Canucks or Linus Tech Tips, I want to see it from a guy who bought his retail, who didn't get it in a special reviewer box, I want stats from, like, a straight up average guy to see what I'm actually dealing with. The Silicon Lottery, that's it. But if this is true, that's pretty impressive. A 46% gain. Wow. And the GTX at normal, you're only ever seeing 70%, 76% of the performance of the 1080 from a 980 Ti. That is pretty impressive. It's hugely impressive, you know, if this is true. I now see why they say you're looking at it being faster than two 980s in SLI. Because I'm just looking at this, it's just like, wow. Oof, look at this chart. Jesus Christ. It's gonna be the card to beat. You know, it's hard not to want one. But this is the first time in a while a GPU manufacturer was launching a new architecture, a new memory bus, at the same time. GDD5X is faster than HBM1 memory. So the 980, oh sorry, the 1080 is already kicking the hell out of the R9 Fury currently in these standings. And on paper, on paper, you know, GDD5X is faster than HBM1. But HBM2.0 is on the horizon, you know, probably for AMD cards. Oh God, it's kind of hard, man. It is hard not to want this because I know for a fact that HBM2 is going to be a thing fairly soon. Also, a thing that's gonna come up within the next year, 2017, I'd say, uh, PCI Express 4.0 is gonna hit the market. And man, it, like once PCI Express 4.0 hits the market, Graphics cards will be going to that, like right off the, like boom, they're gonna go to that. There'll probably be two versions, I don't know. But when that hits the market, you can use a PCI Express 3.0 graphics card on a 4.0 motherboard, but you cannot use a 3.0 motherboard PCI Express with a 4.0 graphics card. So that's something to keep in mind. Like there's gonna be a lot of changes in the next year or two. HBM. 4.0 PCI Express, which is going to be obviously faster than 3.0. It's just like, eesh. the The PC market for gaming is going to be so crazily interesting. It's not even going to be funny. It's not. Man. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to tell somebody. If someone was buying or building a computer right now, I would say get a, a 1080 or a 1070 off the bat. I mean, I told a friend of mine who's like, I'm thinking of getting 980s. I'm like, no, don't even bother. The 1080s coming out. Get that. Screw it. Whew, I don't know. I don't know what your move's going to be. I don't know what mine's going to be. I can tell you that. Because I am actually kind of impressed with this and a little disheartened. It's like my graphics card didn't even. <laughs> the 980 Ti just died so quickly. At least when Maxwell came out, the 780 was still respectable. You know, if you had a 780 Ti or something in your computer, you weren't really shitting bricks. You're like, eh, I got a 780, it's no big deal. The 980's like only marginally better. And now, it's just like, this is such a generational leap. Oh, it hurts the wallet. Oh well, I, I should probably go here. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you as always for tuning into my channel. Oh, oh, feel free to, I don't know, follow me on Twitter. It's a big thing now. I figure, you know, a couple of you guys follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna look like a mover and a shaker. And maybe Nvidia will stop treating me like a butt nugget. Logitech kinda treated me like a butt nugget too. But, you know, they at least were like, okay, we're not gonna give you a reviewer sample. We don't have any left. Which was their way of going, we don't feel you're good enough. You know, if Linus was like, hey guys, 
uh, I decided to saw in half my Logitech keyboard that's $200. Could you send me another review copy? They go, oh, Linus, thank you, Linus, for using our parts to be manhandled and mangled for the enjoyment of your sadistic audience who likes to see hardware they can't afford, but they want to see it destroyed for some reason. Thank you, Linus. Now I'm just like, could I like uh, do a review sample of your headset? That's probably why they didn't give me the headset. Because the wired version of the G933 is just not worth your money. You know, maybe I got a lemon and I would have sent it back if it wasn't for my cat eating the effing papers. Yes, I'm looking at you, Smokey. You little bitch. All right, I forgot to end this video. Well, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, you know. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, uh, Twitch, even though I'm going to admit I'm not really a streamer. I, you know, I, my idea of streaming is just turning it on and letting you watch me scream like a bitch. So, you know, some people pay a lot of money to see people scream like a bitch, you know. I'm not even getting a shilling. I'm six pence, none the richer. Okay, I'm definitely out of here now. Get off of me, cat. I got to turn this off.